What is going on my friend? It's Austin here from Elevate Applicate bringing you yet another video on pesticide applicator content. Hope you guys are liking this stuff. Hope it's helping you. If you're new to the pesticide applicator industry, hoping to teach you what I know. If you're a veteran, well, there's always a good review, right? Um, so today in this video, what we're going to talk about is phytotoxicity. And the reason why that topic is really critical right now is because we're getting into summer, we're getting into high temperatures, and that is when phytotoxicity can occur. And this could mean the difference between uh, an, a, a mosquito application going on a property or a fungicide application um, looking like you actually did a good job or you know, having to make an insurance claim to replace some plants because you killed them or severely damaged them. So this is a super important topic that we need to talk about. Um, but before we dive into that, if you can like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. It's right down there. Awesome. Thank you. So what is phytotoxicity? Phytotoxicity is a event that occurs when you apply chemicals to plants. There are certain plants that are more sensitive to chemicals. They experience something that's slightly different called phototoxicity. And basically there's a reaction that's going on within the plants. When you apply a chemical, the plants release their own chemicals as a defense mechanism. Phytotoxicity is a little bit different what happens is essentially you apply a chemical and then it turns into a gaseous state and just sits there on the leaf and it cooks it. It suffocates the leaf out and it causes some significant damages. Um, prior to me actually getting into mosquito control for my company, I would go to properties and I would see all along the wood line, it looked like there was an herbicide application that occurred. And it kind of got me scratching my head going, what's going on here? What, uh, you know, what happened? And so I started to dig into it more and I said, do you have anybody here that's doing this, this? And they said, yeah, we have a mosquito control company. And they said, oh, what was the temperature when they last applied? And it was like 87, 90 degrees, something like that. And when you apply synthetic pyrethroids over like 85 degrees, it's just going to sit there as a gaseous state and it's going to destroy plant foliage. So just a warning to all of you, when we're getting into these higher temperatures, you really got to be careful of your sprays. Uh, I do not recommend to spray above 85 degrees. Now you in the structural pest industry, this isn't really going to affect you because you're going to be spraying on structures. But if some drift gets onto a plant or if you spray a plant by accident and then all of a sudden it dies and the customer's like, what's going on? And you're sitting there like, oh, I just sprayed an insecticide. Nothing should be happening here. Well, it probably got phytotoxicity and damaged some foliage. So I just briefly want to touch base on that. With these high temperatures that we're going into, we need to be really conscious of the applications that we're making. So that way we are not causing any issues with our customers' landscapes. Just imagine if somebody went to your property, they performed some sort of application on your property, and it looked like they sprayed a herbicide everywhere. I mean, you probably wouldn't be too happy, would you? So we got to think about our customers in that same sense. And right now, I mean, I'm sweating on camera, but if I go and grab the thermometer and try and get this on camera, it's 98 degrees in my office. My office is a recycled greenhouse and it's hot. When I first got in here, it was 103 degrees. So we gotta be super cautious. Right now is a really hard time for a mosquito company because you can only apply up until you get up to 84 degrees and then you gotta call it quits. And when you have a ton of properties to get to, that makes it very challenging. So that's what we're going through right now. But yeah, just want to touch base on this, help protect you, help protect your clients, help protect your reputation. Again, if you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. Other than that, take care, God bless, go get them. And if you made it this far, if you are interested in mosquito control content and learning how to start implementing that into your business, I am going to do a Mosquito Mastery Masterclass here at the end of June. If you go down in our list of videos, I'll actually probably put the thumbnail up here or attach it at the end of this video. But if you do see that and you are interested, we are going to host a class. I'm going to host the class and teach you everything that I know in regards to mosquito control services, how to bid them, what to use, what you, everything that I know. Okay, It's going to be $197. Bucks. Hope to see you there. Other than that, take care, God bless, and go get them.